Yo, Dirty, it's your boy, Starter Game, checking in one time for the one time, and I am back again on Dirty Daily with another video. Now, before I kick this video off, I want to give a big shout-out to my people over at HunkUp.com. HunkUp.com sent me this new product they have called the Bushmaster Pro, and currently the product is on sale with the link in my description for $69.99, whereas it sells regularly for $100. Now, the Bushmaster Pro is dope because, you know, it's rechargeable, it's cordless, you know, it's very, very accessible, you can take it on the road with you. And you know it's a great product overall. You know what I mean? And it's for the it's for the guys, but I think it's for the ladies too. You know, because at the end of the day, when you go in the bedroom, you don't want to feel like a Sasquatch. You want to go in there confident. You want to go in there feeling like, yeah, I'm the man down there. <laughs> so make sure you get this product. It's called the Bushmaster Pro. The link's in my description. It's easy to find. And yeah, shout out to Alex. Appreciate it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Dirty Daily Podcast. We have the one and only Eritrean Princess. Let's let's go ahead and stamp that, you know. Eritrean Princess. I can definitely stamp that. You know, I'm on the line with the Ruby Rose. Beautiful too, y'all. She is so beautiful. For those that can't see her, um, you can look her up online. It's Ruby, R-U-B. I R O S E, and she has a new single out titled In His Feelings, correct? Yep, he in his feelings. He in his feelings, yes. And she is 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 a uh a ray of sunshine this morning. She's talking to us about her new single and her new album. Um, no name for it yet, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get into that too. Um, so tell us about yourself first and foremost, Ruby. Let us let us know where you're from and how you got your start in the music business. All right, so um, I'm, I was born in Lexington, Kentucky. I was raised there for the majority of my life. I used to, I moved to Switzerland when I was like 10. Then I moved to Atlanta my junior year of high school. And I just recently graduated from Georgia State. And um, thank you, thank you. And then I was just, while, during my um, college uh, career, I started getting into music, going to the studio, recording. And then I came out with like two songs. Right. One with my ex and then one by myself. And then one, which was called Big Mouth, which got me signed with L.A. Reid. So. Shout out to L.A. Reid too. Shout out to the whole Hit Co. family. Um, shout out to Troy. Yeah, shout out to my dog Troy for setting this up. Yeah, man. So Ruby, like, where did you get your name from? Like, you know, Ruby Rose is such. It's it's it makes sense. It makes sense for you to be Ruby Rose and two beautiful uh, aesthetics that go well with who you are. You are a Ruby and you are a Rose that came up out of the cracks. You know, um, a lot of a lot of a lot of people may beg to differ. A lot of people may say differently, but we, you know, we don't we don't. We don't regard the naysayers or the haters on our show. We like to we like to commend and applaud those that are doing great things. And um, one thing one one thing I wanted to know is where first off did you get your name from? My mom. I was born with it. My sisters and I are all named after colors of red. So hmm. scarlet coral. My mom's Eritrean. She was born by the Red Sea. Red is her favorite color. So Ruby Rose. And that's a beautiful thing. So, I mean, being that you are from Eritrea, right? Let's let's. I mean, we're not from Eritrea, but your parents have background heritage from Eritrea. Um, your mom's from Eritrea, not your father, though, right? Correct. So, being that your mom, and I see, I have an African parent as well. So, I know that African Where are you parents. From? Nigeria. I was actually born in Nigeria, Nigeria. but I was raised. Yeah, I was raised here. I, I was yeah. raised here. A lot of people don't. Yeah, Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba tribe. So a lot of people don't even know that, you know, African parents can be so strict on us as kids growing up. You must be a doctor, you know, you must be lawyer, you know, you must go to school, you must graduate. Um, how was that growing up? Like, how was it for you growing up with the Eritrean mother? Exactly the same way, like hella strict, which made me hella sneaky. But she was just like, I'm glad she was like that. She taught me to be tight with my money, go to school, be independent, right. that whole so I like the values that have been instilled in me because of my African parent. And speaking of values, you hold a lot of values when it comes to knowing about yourself, um, knowing about how to market yourself, because you've been on top of your game in this business for a while. Like going even back to the to the days of you actually just being the video girl and being in the videos like you were in the bad and bougie video, which is now at 99, uh, almost a billion views. 
Like, that's crazy, you know? And then now, like, getting up to 2020 or 2020, and you're, and you're um, in the WAP video with uh, Megan Thee Stallion and, and, and Cardi B. Like, these are all great accolades to have on your, on your resume, you know? So, like, like, how does it feel even going back to that day when you were, you know, casted for that Bad and Bougie video to see yourself where you're at now? It's crazy, like... It's crazy. I'm hella thankful. I, I knew it was gonna happen. Right, there I'm, you go. I'm thankful. It's it's crazy. Honestly, I said the same thing. But <laughs> it's no, crazy. and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of history and in, in so much uh, of an essence of what it is. And um, now you have your own single that you're pushing, your new single, um, He and His Feelings. Um, let's talk about that. What 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 orchestrated this whole suit, new single going coming from a a big mouth to uh, he and his feelings? Because literally, like your music is is directed towards uh, the 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 men that don't necessarily get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like let's 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 talk about he and his feelings now. How did you, how did this come about? Me and a significant other I was dealing with at the time. Um, we're just going back and forth. You have called me to tell me that we're breaking up, we're over. And like, he was just in his feelings. So <clears throat> that's how the song came about, really. And Simple enough. It's just something for girl, girls can relate to. Like, if you go right. on Twitter, type in just some bars off the song, like, girls like saying what I'm saying, because they we can relate. We know we've, we've been with that nigga that is in his feelings and keeps calling to tell us that it's over again. He's like, but yeah, that's how it came about. And you know what? I, I actually did some research and I saw some girls on Twitter, right? That were like the nice girl. They were the nice girl and they were always treating the guy right. And, you know, they felt like your lyrics kind of inspired them to stop being that nice girl and start you know, treating men yeah. almost how they treat them, you know, in a, in a sense. And I hate to say it, but, you know, we as men, we sometimes fall short and we don't give a lot of women their just due. I'm not going to say that I have, you know, I was a good, I was a good brother, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I got me as a woman, you feel Seriously. me? But there is some, some guys out there that do fall short and it takes a woman like a Ruby Rose to remind you, hey, you could lose this. You know, so how do you feel about that next brother that comes towards you or steps to you if you don't have a significant other now, but the next brother that tries to approach you, how should he step? Correct. He better come correct, respectful, and just be like, I mean, I don't ask for much. He just has to be respectful, come correct, and I don't know, be a nice, good nigga, like you said. That's it. I don't okay. ask for much. And that's facts. I mean, like, so now it, let's get back to this music. So, like, being that you have, um, you know, a new project coming up, I've been seeing you in the studio. I saw your story last night. You were in the studio with Lil' Keed. Um, you've been in the studio with uh, Wiz Khalifa. That's my dog, Wiz Khalifa. Shout out to the whole Taylor gang. Um, so being that you've been in the studio with a lot of these different new guys that are uh, new guys and then um, veterans also as well, what is your experiences like in the studio with these guys? Man, it's just, it's it's inspirational and motivational and like you know i'm still like new at this so i'm learning a lot by watching them record like seeing what they do so i'm just thankful that niggas people are fucking with me i'm i have some female collabs too that i've been doing so i'm just th thankful that everybody's been so welcoming and like just patient and helping me so i'm just thankful as, and you mentioned female collabs. So, so can we expect any collabs from any of the ladies that were in the WAP video? Just a little speak, 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 Give me a I secret or something. Mm. Let's speak it, speak it into the future. Okay. We wait on no. clearances. I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, I mean, let's talk about um, let's talk about he and his feelings one more time. Okay. So, I I want to get to the gist of why he and his feelings is such an important song for the lady so that they can remember this right so he and his feelings and ruby rose is going to give you ladies some some details on how you can know that he is in his feelings before you can even before you can even fathom what it is you're going to get these details from ruby rose she's going to let you know three reasons why he and his feelings or what why he may be in his feelings so i need you to give me three reasons for the ladies now this is for the ladies 
for three reasons why he may be in his feelings and why you are the uh, you, the orchestrator of this. Because I, I think ladies really need to understand this. It wasn't just a music video. This is a whole movement, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to understand this. This is real life. So give me three reasons he in his feelings. Reason one, he's in his feelings because... <laughs> No, he's in his feelings because um, this pussy is too bomb. So he's calling again. The phone went back to back like he got a twin. He's ringing up my phone because he wants me back, all right? He's in his feelings reason two. I'm trying to remember my lyrics. Um, <laughs> is it like that sometimes when you get in the studio yeah. and you, you record the music but then when it's time for you to remember it it's like wait a minute hold on I can let me sing. take a break I just, yeah, I, you can't I, you can't recite it but you can rap it or sing it when it comes time to rap it, I yeah. get it. I totally get Damn, it I'm sorry like no I, it's okay it's okay but I get what you're going and you gave me basically you gave me three he in his feelings because He's calling again, and he's majority of the time you know he's in his feelings when he's calling. You got to know he's in his feelings when he's calling you multiple times and you're not answering the phone. These, these are <laughs> these are definitely surefire signs that he's in his feelings. Um, but let's talk about how how this transition from going from IG, going from being the social light of, uh, uh, of, 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 of of a prominent university here in Atlanta. Shout out to UGA, um, but. UGA. I mean Georgia State. I'm sorry, I said UGA. That's Athens. I'm tripping. Right. Georgia State. Shout out to all my shout out to all my um UGA um scholars Bulldogs. too. But yeah, all my Bulldogs. But Georgia State. Shout out to uh to all the uh the Georgia Panthers. State. Yeah, the Panthers. I forget the the dogs and the, the Panthers mascot. and the mascots and all that. It's confusing. But yeah, shout out to all my Panthers. But being that you are a scholar of uh the great Georgia State University here in Atlanta. Um, what do you say to some of these kids that are coming up? You were a major in um, in um, English, right? Yeah, English and poli sci. Okay, so being that a lot of the kids are going through what they're going through right now with the pandemic, how have you been like, you know, dealing with the pandemic now that you've, of course, graduated school and now you're in, you know, in your career and you're 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 doing what you want to do? How do you, you know, relate a message to these kids that are going through what they're going through during this pandemic? Mm. Just really like stay focused, keep your head up, and this take this time as like a little break to like get yourself together, reevaluate, but like also like this is also a time where we can get a lot of work done and like be on the computer, do your online classes, do what you need to do. Don't lose track, stay focused, but chill, but still do what you need to do. I heard that. Have you learned anything new during this pandemic? Like, is there anything that you've taught yourself to do on how to do, or is there any YouTube videos that you're watching? Like how to crochet my hair. No. <laughs> um, I learned um, about taxes. I learned a lot about taxes. Okay. Okay. Like I heard that. You better say it again for those in the <laughs> back. Learn something about them taxes. Cause mm -hmm. uncle Sam will come for that ass. Um, so yeah, I mean, I want to, I want to, I want to wrap it up with this. I know that you have, you've been in the WAP video, right? And I, and I know that you have a very close, uh, telepathic relationship with Cardi B. Like you guys, similar y'all are so similar in so many different regards but you are so different and i love the fact that you portray this beautiful nubian east african queen that you are because you gotta understand not only are you you're from kentucky but you represent a whole different generation of women um you know i feel like cardi b represents the latin community in her whole regard and i feel like you you represent the african community and in your, in your whole regard um, and, and shout out to Megan too, because Megan represents, you know, her community in her whole regard, but for women in general, I want you to really speak to, especially our East African and our African women in general. Um, I want you to speak to that regard and let them know what you want your legacy to be for, uh, East African women or African women in general. Mm, I want my legacy. I don't know. Like, I just don't want to be myself. I don't want to be put in a box and I don't want African women or just women in general to be put in a box and like what's it called just I don't know like we see everything that's going on like between men and women and like the injustices and like all the 
just negativity and like wanting women to be like the in the house cooking and cleaning and like not talking about our bodies and I don't know I think women should be able to do whatever the hell they want we should do right. whatever we want and we should love ourselves people need to love us the men need to love us we're the we're women we're the child bearers like we just need more love and I want women to get recognized for all the great things that we are doing and the love that we're spreading so I don't know I just want goodness to be portrayed onto women I heard that. Come on now, Ruby. I love it. I love it. And you know what? It's crazy because I get to see you really transition because going from where you were to where you are now is a beautiful thing. And I'm, I commend you. I appreciate you. I love on you. I send you my love. You know what I mean? And I appreciate you for even giving us this time. Everybody say a good, warm welcome to my, my girl, Ruby Rose. Let them know how they can follow you one more time for those who don't know. Follow me on Instagram at the Ruby Rose. It's with the I. Twitter Ruby XX Rose. TikTok Ruby Rose official. Follow me. 